what's up everybody we are back with another episode uh i've made it through my quarantine i was covid positive had to quarantine for 14 days uh made me miss the pbr finals not exactly what i wanted to do but i don't make the rules and i have to obey the rules so i set out for the finals and we are uh just been on the ranch been on the ranch for two weeks uh being isolated away from everybody trying to keep my sanity and i'm back to working out been hunting every day and trenton and austin are in the arena getting it on their mind uh preparation for the nfr i'm back to working out doing everything that i've been doing and uh these guys are going to fight some cows today practice up tune up we got a set of calves caught uh, a couple days ago and these are all full blood fighting calves that we've raised on the ranch here they're uh some blue roan solid blacks there's a paint calf uh walk around with one white foot kind of right there uh that's our first nation calf if you've been following along that's a big paint bull that uh is a world world famous rex dunn uh bloodline of chickasaw nation so let's go hook somebody Got a little rain last night come in a uh, little weather watered down the arena it's not muddy by no means it's just really really good footing uh t money back in the saddle back in the saddle well, what can you tell us about this some 5.99 cleats right there 5.99 buy on a brand new fresh pair of cleats yeah. it could be a good day for you bud awesome How's it been? Been good. You need to work on your interviews, by the way. Yeah, your Waco interview question. sucked. Uh, <laughs> just, you're gonna have to really that start work. You're gonna, that was terrible. It was a horrible interview. G? It was terrible. 14 days after COVID. Uh, we're good. Survivors, Pop G, hey. survivors. We're all surviving. Good man down. Can't keep a good man down. <laughs> this shoot could be in better shape. We're getting there. Work. Number six, red no tag. First to go. Just fighting Texas Longhorns. That's it. She has a monstrous rack. Yee. You got to work on these interview skills. So, what's what's your game plan for today? You know, just keep it simple. Uh, just fight my cow the best I can. Just let all the hard work I've done throughout the years pay off right here. This is a real deal. And ain't no playing around. No. It's just serious stuff. You got to get serious. What do you think about it, T? I think these cows are gonna fight, and we're gonna fight them. So it's gonna be like head-to-head -head matchups. Battle. Yeah real deal but more war really. 
He's, he's a little more jacked up than you are, I feel like. It's gladiator sport. Gladiator sport. <laughs> For the men, not the boys. You need to grease that. It's a little squeaky. Just right. Just right. You, you got, you know where's really yours, mean. T? Both my knees are good still, so. <laughs> Oh, so you got two good wheels and you got semi flat tire. So what T said. A little air. A little air. Right on. Take a number one through one through twenty. Twelve. One. Twelve it is. The number is fifteen. Trent was twelve. He's closest. Bad luck. She's got the boxing gloves on. Let's see what happens. Still got a big squatch in the arena. Hard to say what's gonna happen, but it is what it is. Hey, don't be over here squatching around, dude. Dude, I freaking mounted up and took a shot and she got me in the neck. <laughs> like her horn come through my legs and got me in the neck. <laughs> you swatted up for sure. Uh, she hooked me. <laughs> she was really fixing to hook you. Freaking, I'm out here in my joggers. Taking hooking those sons. Well, I see you coming through that gap. Her like right on you, so I just did like a roll move. And she just blew right past me and I've seen you just ended up on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh man, I got to take a shot for tea this morning. Really? Hey, that's it. Gets wild at the bull school.
get that flow fixed. A little, little straggler. Behind, fix the hair behind Yeah, me. behind that. There you go. Got some proper. stragglers proper. Uh, interview ready. Break that down for us, Austin, from a fundamental standpoint. Oh, it was good right out of there. I thought I should have wrapped her up a little more. Just trying to set her up for a few too many front reverses and fakes and stuff. Just trying to check her down, but. She was coming hot. Yeah, she was a little speedy, I thought. I had some gas there. Yeah, and then that wasn't my best attempt at some jumps, but caught um, the old drag leg. Yeah, I mean, you, but you got to do what you got to do to get a sale. Yeah, good sale always helps in the bullfight. Hey, don't be mad. It ain't her fault you can't jump over a snap can. You need to sue them legs for non-support. Get old Woody Harrelson and teach you how to jump. Huh? What movie? White man can't jump. Oh yeah, I've watched that. You ain't, you ain't watched it enough. Probably no, I haven't. <laughs> hey, Jay. Yo. Reckon we uh, reckon we need the boxing gloves on this one? I don't think you got a set big enough for him. Where does Orange go? Let go. Let go and rip it off. We're gone. Oh, can of corn. This is uh, this is the bad bull that the farmer brought. He's still around. Maybe he'll still fight. Maybe he won't. We'll find out. Whoa, that thing can kick. You don't want him, it kicked. Just for letting it so can the corn get you. It's take two, take. Hey, the thing is, I, there's some things I can't keep saying. The thing is, is somebody in a hot dog suit and somebody in a corn suit fought this bull. They'll be coming to you live around the world. About me.